My intoxicated mother-in-law tried to attack me at my own wedding. My mother-in-law has hated me since the day we met. Her face drops every time I walk into a room. The entire time I have known her, I have never heard her refer to my husband by his name, only her baby boy. For context, my husband is a 55-year-old man. Over the seven years that my husband and I have been together, I've tried everything to try and make her like me. But it's as though the more I try to get closer to her, the more she resents me. When my husband and I announced our engagement at a family dinner, she literally burst into tears. She constantly criticizes me, such as making fun of the way I decorate my husband and I's house, to the way I do my makeup. When I started planning the wedding, my mother-in-law came to me and insisted that I wear her wedding dress from the 80s. I respect her and I want her to like me, but this is supposed to be my one special day. Her gown is beautiful for that era of fashion, but it is not my style. It's also incredibly large with huge puffy sleeves that would be difficult to tailor to my size. Despite all this my mother-in-law has called me every single day without fail since we announced the engagement, asking when she should drop off the dress. In an effort to compromise with her and involve her more in the wedding, I invited her when I went dress shopping with my sister and friends. She spent the entire time drinking the shop's champagne, rolling her eyes, and scoffing at every single dress I brought out. There was one dress I tried on and fell in love with, even my sister cried when she saw me in it. Yet when I walked out, my mother-in-law let out a hooting laugh and said it made me look like a farm animal. After hearing that, I wasn't in the mood to try on any more dresses, I just left in tears with my sister. When I got home, my fiancé told me his mom had come by and dropped her dress off, telling him that I didn't like anything at the shop. I tried not to cry again as I told my fiancé about her behavior at the dress shop. He comforted me and asked if I would feel better if she didn't come to the wedding. I can't lie. I thought about it, but I just didn't want to make anything worse between her and I after all. She was about to become my family, I didn't want this bad blood to drag on. Looking back now, I can't believe how naive I was. I should have taken my husband's suggestion of uninviting her the second it came out of his mouth. I shopped online for a new dress, and ended up finding a gorgeous dress that I loved. It wasn't as elegant as the dress I tried on in the shop, and my heart stung a bit when I put it on for the first time and felt regret about not buying the shop's dress. Either way, I was happy to be ready for the big day. My lovely fiancé also paid for my dress in full to make up for all the drama caused by his mom. Fast forward to the day of our wedding, I felt so beautiful as I stood waiting for the doors to open so I could walk down the aisle. When it was finally time, the ushers opened the doors and I saw my smiling fiancé waiting for me at the end of the aisle. I only got to savor this precious moment for a sliver of a second before my mother-in-law screamed at the top of her lungs and fell to her knees at the sight of me. She grabbed the person next to her while also knocking down a flower arrangement. I guess up until this moment, she had convinced herself I would be wearing her dress. She continued to cry, balled up on the floor until another family member finally got her out. The moment felt ruined, but I walked out anyway, and my fiancé and I somehow managed to have a lovely ceremony despite her. After we walked out of the reception, she was the first person I sought out. I sat next to her and asked her if she was okay. She stared at me blankly for a moment before tossing her entire glass of red wine all over my face and chest. I immediately started crying as a swarm of people rushed her out of the hall. I couldn't believe it. She somehow managed to ruin every part of my wedding, and now I don't even have my dress as one happy reminder of the day.